Hello, my name is Gwen, and I'm here to help my fellow Catholics who may be struggling with scrupulosity. Um, I've never done a YouTube video before, so please bear with me. Um, I have struggled. I'm in my 40s. I'm a mother, homeschooling, Catholic mom with a lot of kids, and um, I have struggled with scrupulosity, anxiety, and for about 20 something years. And looking back at my childhood, I can think like, yes, I would, I, looking back, I think I was a scrupulous kid, but I didn't know it. And then I went through my good times and my bad times as a teenager, really bad times. And I didn't really have scrupulosity until I was about like a couple years into my marriage. I was trying to finally be a good Catholic. And it was at a time when I had a big crisis in my life and I desperately needed God. And I knew that I if I wanted his help, you know, I, I had to live a good life. So I was trying to be a good Catholic. And I, you know, I was trying to be a, a good Catholic, but I was making a lot of, I, I fell into scrupulosity. And that lasted for about, I would say, over 20 years. And the funny thing is, uh, well, providentially, God gave me a spiritual director early on when I was suffering a lot, a uh, lot from this uh, he put this run, this wonderful priest into my life, good priest, uh, who helped me, this old priest. And he kept telling me, he, he gave me advice early on, but I just didn't follow it. And that's one of the things about scrupulosity is that you need to obey or you're not going to get over it. And um, that's the cure because you always think that fear will creep in where you're always the right one. And um, <laughs> my, my dog just came in. Uh, you, you're right. And he, if the confessor's wrong, he doesn't understand you. He doesn't get you. And, um, anyway, so, but God put this priest into my life and he told me early on, use what you know to help others, use what you know to help others. And he said that to me one time when I had come to him in like this panic mode about something. And the funny thing is, is I had the answer, but I just wanted to make sure it was the right one. And he, and he, it, and he said, yes. And, um, so he, and then that's what he told me. He said, use what you know to help others. Well, this is a very long time ago and now I'm trying to do that. And I don't know, I thought, thought of writing a book. I've thought of doing YouTube videos and here I am doing the first one and I don't have time to write a book. So I just want you to know that if, if anyone is struggling out there with scrupulosity, I'm going to try to help you in whatever way I can with the knowledge I have. I've been through it. It's horrible. It's horrible. It's, um, it's dark feeling. It's, I call it the pits of Mordor feeling. It's just, it's terrible. And you're trying to be a good Catholic and you get discouraged. And, uh, and I assume if you're watching, you know, what you have scruples or, you know, someone that has scruples or why would you be watching something like this? Right. Um, Sometimes I've read, I get read that scruples can be sent by God to bring you closer to him. But if it's sent by God, it usually doesn't last very long. It, it just lasts like long enough for you to reach however God wants you to go through that. But if it's from the devil, then it lasts a long time. Well, it lasted for like 20 something years for me and to the point where I thought I was going crazy. And um, I had an anxiety. Well, I first I had scruples. And then for many years, and I, I still consider myself a scrupulous person, but I know how to handle it now. Then I went through a terrible anxiety disorder that lasted about maybe three or four years. And then it, after I got over that, thank God, with the help of my spiritual director, getting over the anxiety, I developed a horrible, like two years of scrupulosity that were like the worst years of my life. Like, I mean, horrible. And I was going through this while I was trying to raise my kids, be a good wife. Um, it was, it almost drove me crazy. And then I had what I would think was like a miraculous recovery, um, God's mercy. Um, and that's what I'm here to talk about is God's mercy too, because God loves us so much and he, he wants us to trust in him. And that's how I got over this was I finally, and there's so many things that happened along the way. I mean, it's such a long story and everything, but what what really ended up helping me was, you know, God's grace, of course, but God, I finally had to trust in God and just give it to him and say, God, uh, like trust in God that I'm on the right path. You have to trust in God. You have to trust in the sacred heart. 
Trust in Our Lady to help you. And also St. Joseph was a big one. And St. Therese is my conversation. St. Therese of the Child Jesus is my uh, patron saint for confirmation. So I know she went through it. Um, but it really came down to trusting in God. And, um, you know, so when I think back to my scrupulous days, I was one of those people that, oh boy, I went to confession all the time. And I was... Sometimes I was really happy when I came out because I was like, this is great. I'm, I'm never going to like sin again and, or commit a mortal sin. And well, meanwhile, I thought I was committing mortal sins, but I wasn't. Um, or I would come out of the confessional in a panic mode because I thought I made a bad confession. I'd be one of those people getting back in line and looking like a crazy person. And uh, my face would be beat red when I came out. It'd be hyperventilating. It was, it was just embarrassing. It was horrible. Um, but there were so many kind priests along the way that helped me. And also, yeah, um, I was, I had fears about everything. I mean, like movies my kids were watching, cartoons my kids were watching. I was overly worried about the sixth commandment. I mean, yes, we have to be careful, but I was just, you know, horribly scrupulous. And um, the Fridays were, I hate, I could, I dreaded Fridays because I had this terrible obsession with meat, uh, things coming in contact with meat that, um, that I might be breaking like the rules of Friday because of me. Oh, it was, it was terrible. And I drove my kids nuts. Uh, I'll think they still love me and they, they're, they're over it. Thank God. Um, but, uh, fears about everything you can possibly imagine. I had bad thoughts in my head against the faith. I thought just all kinds of thoughts. And early on when I had my scrupulosity, it was, it was, um, you know, it was bad, but the, the two years, like this happened a few years ago, these two years that I went through, it, I, it was at a level where I hadn't ever experienced it before. It was, it was like, um, I would basically what happened was I would get all these thoughts in my head, thoughts that would drive me nuts. And I, I thought that I had to like combat each and every thought that came into my mind, every, each and every thought. So I, you know, if I would get a thought of against impurity, a thought against the faith, whatever it was, I felt like it was my duty to like go fight it. And so I'd be going off into a room and praying and, um, uh, just, it was, it was crazy, you know, it was, and I, it was just awful. So, um, finally, like, okay. Okay. I'm trying to think what, so. It was at a point where I was driving my husband, it, my poor husband, he's such a good guy. And I actually brought him to tears because I was driving him and the kids nuts with my scrupulosity, but I got over it. And the reason I did end up getting over the scrupulosity, which I think I'll have to make another video or, but what it comes down to is I just, in this first video, I just want you to know that you are not alone. You are not alone. And sometimes it can be hard for other people to understand scrupulosity because you're trying to be a good Catholic. You're trying so hard. But the one thing that my confessor told me early on was that scrupulosity is really self, it's, it's a lot, there's a lot of self-absorption. You're so absorbed into yourself that you're not focusing on like, well, you know, on God, you're not focusing on his love for you, how much he loves you and when he forgives, he forgives. And when you're scrupulous, it's all about you and your fears, your fear of, yes, we, we don't want to go to hell. We don't want to commit a mortal sin. We, but scrupulosity can really blind you onto what you really need to work on. Like, what is it that you really need to work on? Meanwhile, you're thinking you're committing all these mortal sins one after another after another, but you're not pinpointing like what is really the root of the problem? What is really your main fault? And that's one thing that um, you know, that's one thing that the devil can blind you with is not working on that, not focusing on the mercy of God. And, uh, um, I don't know what else to say, except the first, like I said, the first thing is to let you know, you're not alone. I, I do feel it's my calling to try to help my fellow Catholics, uh, help who, anybody out there that is suffering from scrupulosity or anxiety. Um, anxiety is to me, it's like, it's different. It, scrupulosity is like spiritual anxiety. It's, it's horrible. And I do think spiritual anxiety is worse than what I call physical anxiety, which I also went through intensely for like three years. Um, but I'm here to say I've been through it. 
I have been through that. I've been, this is, and I'm at a place, okay. I can say I am at a place of peace now that I thought could never happen. I 